Well, if you've been following Wiggly since we started making trays and canopies, or you've come past and seen us at the shop, you may have noticed just uh, this big bus. And this is the OG Wig 79. Now this cruiser was built back by Peter in 2018. It's had a 400 mil stretch, uh, a coil conversion, which has then gone to an airbag conversion, all done by us here. Closely working with an engineer of ours back in the day who's able to do all this. Now this used to have an older tray on it with a headboard fuel tank, a uh, spare in the headboard as well. Since then, it's got a bit outdated. We've evolved so quickly with our tray design and what we can incorporate into it. So we thought we may as well chuck a new tray on it. Now this tray is about six months old. Uh, it's been on for a while now. You would have seen all the shows that we've done, but since then we've now chucked on a new dog box and a new canopy onto it as well. So we'll go through it here. Now starting right up the front, in the headboard, we've got a 95 litre headboard diesel tank. That's an auxiliary tank that's plumbed straight into the main tank. So there's no pump, it's all gravity fed straight into the main tank. Very popular option so far on the 79s. All of our 79s have gone out with a headboard fuel tank. Every RAM build's gone out with a headboard fuel tank. It just seems to be a super popular option, especially on the 79s, not slinging another huge massive tank right at the back of where the, uh, on the tray, right at the back of the chassis there. 95 litre headboard tank up the front. Now these boxes with 400 mil extension, you get a extra box here at the front, same as your 300 mil extension. Uh, so that's got your water pump switch and it's got an air compressor outlet there as well. Down the back, just another spot for storage. Uh, you've got snatch straps and trailer plugs and all kinds of different things that you can chuck in there. Now on this side of the canopy, you've got uh, drawers for storage. Your turn lock system there to make sure that these drawers won't rattle around uh, when locked and closed. That ensures that the runner locks won't wear out over time. That's sold, locked in and can't go anywhere. On the door, you've got a hardcore light with an integrated um, switch. There's still a bit of wiring and stuff left to do it, so it's not all finished just yet. As always, bracing, your 45 degree angle braces, all the bracing has nut certs throughout it, so you can mount whatever you need to it. We've also got uh, air filters in here as well. Now on the roof here, uh, Ryan's gonna be mounting a, a little electrical panel and a 12 volt sort of system. So all the 12 volts in the vehicle, he's gonna be mounting a fuse box in here up to the top as well as just any other electrical items that's needed. So Ryan's also got some dogs. In the back here is the dog box and that's where the dogs can jump in there. He can then also take this dog box off and move it to the front if he's just gonna be running for the dog box for the weekends, you know, you can take the canopy off. We've got all the nut certs in the, uh, in the tray floor, which means these canopies can be switched around. One can be on, one can be taken off. Just allows a bit of flexibility uh, with the setup on the back of your vehicle, depending on the weekend you go out for. Now on the back of the tray, uh, we've got the spare wheel for the 35 on the back, the adjustable mount to be able to mount, you know, your 31s up to 37s on the back of your tray with one single mount. We've also got our chainsaw box. Now this is a new design, it's been out for a few months now. All our chainsaw boxes come with uh, axe holder mounting as standard. You chuck your axe there, you can also chuck your chainsaw in. Now this box suits up to a 16 inch bar, equivalent of a steel MS250. Uh, and then you've also got space for your bar oils, um, uh, spare chains, tools, whatever you need. There's a bit of space in there for as well. It's also got hooks to be able to hockey strap your chainsaw in nice and tight so it's not going to go anywhere. Yeah, you can order these through our website. You can order these through email us at info at weeklyengineering.com.au. $5.99 plus shipping. We've also got a single uh, jerry can holder on the back here as well. As always, we've got the LED auto lamp lights and we've also got the Supernova reverse lights, Supernova now known as LT. On the back here, we've got a rear drawer, suitable for, you know, snatch straps and recovery gear and just those small things uh, that you might need out in the tracks. Now, this drawer is a little bit custom due to the rear winch that sits underneath the tray. You've got a rear winch out the back and then we've made the drawer to suit uh, the space that's available. Now, the passenger side, all the same setup, dog box in the back, storage again, under tray storage for recovery gear, tie down points and whatnot. In the front here is where the compressor is mounted for the air suspension system. So this car is fully on bags, there's no coils, no leafs, it's all air. This car is actually the first one that we've done and that's now five years old and has never had a single issue. This is what we came up with 
for the air suspension for the 79s, which we then have also included in our Wig 79, which you've seen, single cab. It's exactly the same setup and not one single issue. And then we've also now done it for the Ram as well. The air suspension system, people think is a bit of a gimmick. Uh, when it comes to building trays and canopies, it's super easy to take off canopies. It's as simple as putting the legs in, dropping the car, driving out, back up to air. It also increases the ride quality. It's so much nicer to drive where there's no weight on the back of it because the air is adjusted to suit the weight on the back. So if you've got a very versatile setup like us here with our cars here, taking canopies off, driving empty, driving loaded. You're ensuring that your suspension is capable of carrying the load that it's carrying at the time. If there's no load, you're not driving around the stiff rear end. Uh, it's gonna be nice and comfortable as well as flex. This thing flexes like crazy. And same with the single cab, these things can flex more than your Leaf or your coiled 79s. Driving behind this thing on the highway, it just looks like an absolute Rolls Royce. Driving inside of it is even better. It's so comfortable and so smooth, it is worth every cent. Now in the canopy, as I said before, it's nearly complete. We've got room for an 85 litre Bushman upright fridge. Underneath that, we have a cutlery drawer or a prep area. It's got a stainless steel top on it and a space for your cutlery um, plates or chopping boards, anything you can fit in there just to fill the space. Next to that, again, we've got our lock to ensure that this pantry isn't moving anywhere. We've got our pantry here with table underneath. And then we've also got a travel buddy mounted into the oven as well. Now, as I said, this build isn't quite finished yet, but it's very, very close. I thought I'd show you before Ryan goes and changes a few things with the canopy, taking it off, leaving it home and that sort of things. You'll be seeing this build more on some trip videos and going away camping and that sort of stuff. If you come past the shop, you'll see this thing every day, just like either the Wig 79 or the Wig Ram. This thing's had a bit of a birthday, it's had a bit of a freshen up. It's been put to work on the tracks, that's for sure. The air suspension system's been absolutely put to the test and it's held up and it's stood the test of time. Now, if you want to see more of this build, jump onto our Instagram, jump onto our Facebook. If you want to see other builds that we've completed, make sure you check out a Wig Rigs playlist on YouTube. And I'll see you in the next episode.